is the first video of a couple on how to do gauge cluster repair on the Subaru GDGR GV, so the 04 to 14 STI and the 08 to 14 WX clusters. Um, what I'm going to do here is basically break this up into a couple parts. A, I'm going to show you how to replace your motors, and B, I'm also going to show you how to fix your motors. So first, we're going to go to the easy part. I'm going to show you how to replace your motors if you happen to have a good set. So I'm actually going to be replacing this motor right here, which is actually a good motor with this one, which is a bad one. Um, seems kind of backwards, but the point is I'm going to show you how to fix it after I replace it. So this is a GDSTI cluster, and then this is a GVWRX cluster. So this is an 08 to 14, this is an 04 to 07 STI. The motors are actually different if you look on the back as far as like physical appearance. However, they are internally exactly the same and will swap over with no issues. So what you're going to need is a soldering iron right here, just a pretty standard item, as well as a plunger. The plunger is for sucking up solder from the pins. Pretty straightforward. So what I'm going to start with is I'm going to go ahead and take my motor that I'm going to extract. So I'm going to put this off to the side. Right here, I'm going to pull the needle off. The shaft came out, but that's not an issue because we'll be repairing it later. Grab my soldering iron, and I'm going to see right here, if you zoom in, there's four pins right here. One, two, three, four. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate this so that you get a better angle. And I'm just going to go ahead, solder it, and then take the plunger and pull the solder off. Pretty straightforward. I'm going to go ahead and do the other three. Plunge it. There you go. Then this should just slide right out, just like that. Pretty simple. So now, I'm going to take this motor and I'm actually going to pull this motor out. So. This is a perfectly good motor, but we're doing it for demonstration purposes. All right, so once you have the motor pulled out, we're gonna take the good motor in, or in this case, the bad motor. I'm gonna slide it in, and it'll click. Um, you may wanna push up just to make sure that it's all the way up. So I'm just gonna put something to prop it up. Right there. And then you're gonna get the solder. And just re-solder the four points. Make sure it looks nice and shiny. Just there you go. New motor's in, and this should be ready to go. No calibration need or anything. So I'm gonna show you basically what the two kind of issues that these motors can have. One is gonna be the stepping or the sticking, sorry, and the other one is gonna be the twitching. So to diagnose which issue, issue you have, it really boils down to how the install came apart. If you have the needle come out or the, the shaft start pulling out, but you manage to grab it before it fully came out, and then you remove the needle, you'll always have the sticking issue. So basically the sticking issue will happen whenever, if the shaft ever starts coming up. And then the twitching issue is if your shaft always meant, did manage to come all the way out then you also have the flickering issue as well. So if you look here, this is a good motor. This is a motor that both sticks and flickers. So you're gonna notice that there's a certain amount of small play in here, and that's normal, right here. However, for a motor that has sticking issues, you'll see this is a significantly lot more play. So that's fixable, and we'll go into that a little bit later. And then for the stuttering, you'll notice that on startup, your car will do this. So we have this stimulated, you see that? 
So your car will do that, and it'll do it in, a, in you know, a bunch of different severities depending on how it's misaligned. Do not worry, it's fixable. What's basically happening is the magnetic poles inside the motor do not align correctly. So how do I kind of figure out what's wrong? Um, pretty simple. So first off, we're gonna fix the sticking issue. The sticking issue is gonna be done as follows. I'm going to take here, right here, and I'm actually gonna pull this metal cover off. You can use pliers or just yank it, but I'm just gonna pry up and it comes out. And you're gonna notice that over here, there's a very small hole. This hole actually holds the magnet, but it also helps us reset the gear. So what we're gonna do is I'm actually going to take this, which is a small shaft. You can use basically any shaft you want, but this is the easiest for me. I'm gonna stick it in here, this, like that. And what I'm going to do is you'll notice that if I put this against the table right here, I can basically push this magnet up and fight it right here. It's hard to see, but you'll know what I mean by when you try it. So what you're going to do is you're actually going to apply pressure toward the table so that the shaft can't go up and then you're going to slowly push this magnet in. However, you don't want to push it in all the way as then it will start binding up. So I'm actually going to push this magnet in or push this shaft in very, very slowly. Just a tad bit and pull it out. If you push too far in, you'll notice that when you put a needle in, it doesn't freely spin and it'll get kind of stuck. No worries, just pull it out and reset. So you'll notice now that if you look here, the play is nowhere near as bad as it used to be. And that's how you know you fixed it. So you're looking strictly at the play. So now, for the magnetization, how you tell if you have magnetization issues is you take a good motor to compare, and you'll notice that the motor only goes in very specific steps. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna have these two needles aligned at the same point, and you're gonna take a good motor and bump it. Bump it one step, just to see if they're parallel. So right now, they're parallel. However, you look at this, this is pointing a little bit past straight up, and this is still below straight up. So that's how you know that this has been kind of out of whack. I can also tell, because if you see, I go all the way to the end here, there's no play here. I can't make it go further. Whereas here, right, I can do that. So that's how I know that there's a little bit of play. So how I'm gonna fix this is actually pretty straightforward. I'm going to pull this shaft out and I'm basically going to push it in a little bit and I can feel the gear and I'm going to actually twist it a little bit um, to try to get it to realign. We haven't found a good way to do it, but you can more or less guess and check and it'll be fine. So I'll push it in. Um, normally you would have to do that metal pin to reset the slot to be able to test it. However, if you pull up a little bit, it also should be able to reach its magnet point. So I'm going to do this. See where it aligns. Or actually, you know what, I'm going to just turn it on. And I'm going to test it. So this will actually help it snap better. But like that. And you see it's still overextended. So since I have this on a test rig, this makes my life a lot easier. But I'm going to basically pull this out again. Pull the shaft up. I'm gonna just stick it in. Rotate it. And push it back in. Put the needle down. Okay, and then try it. So here. That looks pretty parallel. That still looks pretty parallel. That still looks pretty parallel. That looks parallel. That looks parallel. And that looks pretty good. So what you're gonna notice now is if I do this again, it's not gonna flicker. So I'm gonna do it. See? 
and no flicker. So that means that the magnetism of it is fixed. So now there's still the play because I pulled the shaft out. So I'm just gonna go back and do it because I'm gonna turn this off. And now I'm gonna just go back in here again, grab my little stick, stick it in here, and just push in just a little bit to get that magnet reset right there. And what you'll notice now is if I put this in, Play should be correct, and it is. And I'm going to turn it on. And the motors are fixed. So this is a little confusing to do. It really isn't that hard. So we'll probably do like a write-up so you guys can read. But these motors are fixable, and I've just shown you how to do it. It's really not that long. It took me maybe five minutes of raw video footage, but that's kind of the gist. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you liked it, make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Alright, take care.